How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my channel, Alex Armitage here. Today is gonna to be a little bit different. So, as I said in my last video, I got the X-T4 in and I've been testing it out. I wanted to take just a night trip to test out the X-T4, get some real world footage, just do everything I would normally do, bring it back and see what I need to change about my workflow. And the plan was to do a full photography video where I take some sunset shots, some sunrise shots, and show you all of those in a cohesive video. Well, the material that I got, including some problems and issues here and there, just wasn't good enough to make what I would deem a cohesive video. So what I'm gonna to try to do is instead make a video about the X-T4's footage, real world a review, if you were, show you what I learned from the trip, but I'm also gonna to try to tie in the photography with it and just narrate you through the video. So let's try to make this work. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think once it's all over. Thanks for watching. Well, you're about to watch now. So thanks for watching after you watch. Just start the So our journey starts off a little rough by me forgetting my jacket and having to turn around to go get it. I'm normally not the type of person to not plan or have everything ready to go, but this particular day it felt like I was forgetting everything. And did I mention I'm racing to try to catch the sunset? On top of all that, you can already see that there's a lot of haze and smoke, so I was not feeling very optimistic and I didn't even know where I was going yet. All of that said, the X-T4 is quite impressive. I'm zoomed in in these shots at 85 millimeters and some, hand holding with only the body stabilization and lens stabilization on, no digital. The other settings I use throughout the video are mostly a turn and shutter priority. All of the camera settings aside, this section climbing through the mountains was one of the first times I've experienced fall foliage. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous for many of you, but I lived in Florida for my entire life. And somehow over the last five to 10 years, I just never scheduled a trip for when the color change happens. It meant a lot to me and it truly solidified that the changes I've made over the last few years of my life have brought me where I am today. Feeling humble, eager, and excited for the journey ahead. All right, here's past Alex and a lot of wind. Enjoy. All right, there we go. Should be better now. You know, it's probably pretty windy. Um, we're just doing some quick test. I'm actually camping in my car for the first time and the plan is to shoot sunrise but I didn't have enough time to get up here for sunset. This is so I just ran up to Brainard Lake. I'm still gonna scout around for locations for the morning. A lot of this is just um, to test out some gear, my car setup, stuff like that. This is what we are looking at right now. Not entirely sure. There's a composition, I've never been up here before. Pretty new to the area. This is pretty sweet though. So I'm not sure how the audio will come out. Definitely a lot of wind. So obviously we're gonna test that. But as you can see behind me, I was just walking maybe a fourth of a mile from the parking lot. And as the sun is setting, I found this composition I set up. And I would take you down there, down there. But it's very rocky and I have nowhere to put this camera. 
So to explain the composition, I'm just focused in on the front facing rock. I'm bracketing since it's very dark in the foreground, bright in the sky, as you can tell. And I'm taking an exposure for the foreground, focus, middle ground, focus, and then the background and focus. And we're not getting a lot of color in the sky, but at least we snapped a picture. I didn't even know if I'd find a composition here, but this just came out of nowhere. And it's not super strong, but considering I got here maybe seven minutes before the sunset, uh, I'll take it. <laughs> so uh, let's see what we come up with. I'm gonna go take another shot. Sometimes you pack it in and the real light show <laughs> begins. Because I just packed everything up, walked a little bit, and uh, <laughs> let me let me show you. Yep. Some nice pink in the clouds, but it's kind of time to head back anyways and also even though that pink is absolutely gorgeous there is no light on the peaks so I don't think it would have come out anyways but man it's absolutely beautiful also I'm pretty much in the dark right now like it's well you know I mean you saw the clouds it's about that time blue hour and this camera <clears throat> I think could see better than I can and I think, <clears throat> oh, we almost died. I think uh, it's keeping focus, hopefully decently well. Let's see. Uh, oh, I don't even have another right setting. There we go. Are we still in focus? How about now? What about now? What about now? I also realized I haven't been looking at the actual screen that's my bad. I'm curious how all this wind is gonna pick up. I got a dead cat on here, but uh, it is decently windy. All right, the light is gone. It's time to head back and find a place to sleep. I will, uh, well, unless I shoot again, I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye for now. Slept right outside the entrance. Did not get a lot of sleep. The wind was insane. And it just kept me up, along with my inability to sleep at night sometimes. 
not. I'm curious how this wind is going to be. But um, yeah, we're still in blue hour. And I'm back at the spot I was last night. But conditions are not looking promising. So where the mountains were yesterday is completely covered in cloud. And the other problem is where the sun is rising is also completely covered in clouds. There's blue in between, but I'm not sure any light will actually be, uh, come through. So, I don't even know if we're gonna open up the camera bag or not. But we're here. I guess I'll scout for locations a little bit more and um, see where we go. Maybe these clouds will, huh, they don't look like they're gonna clear up. They look pretty bad, but uh, yeah. Let's get, uh, let's at least keep looking. So really quick, I'm not sure if you'll see me in the frame here. This is in the direction of our shot from yesterday. And as you can tell, completely covered. And um, I don't think it's gonna change that quickly enough, but uh, We'll see. All right, so I found a little spot behind some trees to hopefully help with the wind. We are about, I don't know, 13 minutes from full sunrise and the conditions are huh, terrible for the composition we had in mind. So what I think I'm gonna do is just walk around a little bit more, wait for the sun to actually come up, um, but I don't think it's actually gonna hit anything over here. There's clouds here, in this direction, and there's clouds where the sun is coming up, from this direction. So I don't think we're going to get very much good color, but I'm still hopeful that in an hour or two, sometime in that golden light, we can go photograph some aspens. So you'll either see me again, because we found some something to photograph, or the next time you see me, it won't be here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, sometimes you... Don't get any sleep in your car, and uh, the conditions suck. That actually happens more often than not. But the good news is coming out here is always, feels good, it's nice and cool. There's a lot of wonderful smells, the sounds. Right now I'm just hoping I don't get rained or snowed on, so we're gonna try to beat that back to the car. And uh, maybe I'll see you, hopefully I will see you very soon. So you likely noticed that I put some screen notes up on some of the shots. To recap what we basically learned throughout that footage is that the autofocus is definitely worse in low light. And if there's some wind, set the audio to manual when possible. And finally, try to use manual focus when you're shooting b-roll shots, like when you're walking through a scene, especially, again, in low light conditions. I actually ended up leaving the area because the conditions just continued to get worse. And for the next few hours, I drove around looking for compositions and light. The lighting was changing rapidly, and at some points there were some drastic light rays, they just weren't where I needed them to be. I ended up flying the drone around, trying to race to catch the light, and I even snapped a photo. Within another hour, a clouded version happened, which was completely out of the blue. We were just had drastic light, rays shining on the ground, blue skies in the areas, and then all of a sudden just covered completely in clouds, which turned our lighting from dramatic to extremely moody, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, and I actually think it ended up working out. Eventually, I found myself on the side of the highway waiting for the perfect light to present that mood. All right, so I'm coming to you from my car because we have been driving around for the last hour hour and a half and 
literally couldn't find anything. There was just no light anywhere to be found. Um, aspens were beautiful. Took some footage, probably saw that. But there was just no light on the trees. Uh, and I actually waited a while, took these shots of this fence uh, gate to this, I don't know if it was a house or I guess it has to be. Uh, I don't know how those turned out. But then I started to head back, and then all of a sudden, this weird cloud inversion thing happened. So, instead of what we were getting, which was rays of sunshine, here and there, and I was waiting, it is now just cloud inversion. Let me show you what I mean. So the light is changing so rapidly that I am jumping in and out of the car, staying warm in the car, watching the light, taking photos, it gets bad again, jump back in the car, it gets good again, jump back out, take some more photos. I don't normally shoot from the side of the road, but with the Aspens, I've been taking a lot of off-roads, I just happen to be on major road right now, and this is what's happening. So I'm not going to let myself pass it by and at least not take some shots. But uh, I apologize for not describing what I'm doing in each shot. I hope it's more of a montage of some of the shots that I get as I'm driving around. And I uh, hope you enjoy them. And yeah, um, I don't know if you'll see me again. You will probably will. Or hear me again. I'm rambling on. Okay, bye-bye. Well, as it turns out, you never actually see me again, except for now, and hopefully in the future, many times. So if you came here for the X-T4 real world footage, I hope it helped you. And if you came here for the awesome photos, I'm sorry, because there really wasn't a lot, but I hope you liked them anyways. I did save my favorite one for last, so right after I'm done talking, you can check it out. And uh, I'll see you guys very, I'll see you guys very again soon. I'll see you guys again very soon. I'm actually taking a trip out west for five days to photograph the autumn colors. And this was kind of a test for all of that stuff. So here's that shot. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you again on the next video. Bye for now.